Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to check on another SQL problem from Lead Code, uh, the problem number 176, uh, finding second highest salary. So let's go to the problem and try to solve it. Okay, so now in here we can see <clears throat> the problem is marked as medium. So definitely it won't be easy like the last one. So let's see what they have given us. That is first the employee table contains ID and salary, both are integer. ID is the primary key they have mentioned. Each uh, row of this table contains information about the salary of an employee. Now, what do we need to find from here? Write an SQL to report the second highest salary. Second highest salary from the employee table. If there is no second highest salary, then our query should report null. Okay. Now see, uh, they provide an example, what uh, they want us to uh, <coughs> get the output through how the query will write. So this is the employee table, this is given the ID and the salary, so the expected output should be 200. Okay, now in case there is only one row or there is no second high, second highest salary, then it should give us null. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, question to understand so let's go to write the query now so first of all uh, first the very first thing we need to understand in here to find the second <coughs> higher salary which is this one so we don't have to bother about the ID who is earning second high salary we just need the second high salary so there is a kind of few ways through which we can uh, write this query to solve this problem so <coughs> There is uh, there is window functions also we can, which we can use to solve it easily, and there are other ways like simple subquery uh, as well through which we'll be able to solve it. So let's start with the sim simplest query through which we'll solve it, and then later on I'll show how to solve it using uh, window functions. Okay, so first select. <coughs> salary so we need to find the second salary. so let's try to find the max salary and also we need to check that they want us the output in the column name as second high salary so we'll copy this one and give this as an alias second high salary uh, max salary as second high salary from table employee table Okay, so if we run this one, it is it, it will definitely show wrong answer because we are finding the sec max, max salary. So still I'll run uh, this for you guys to see uh, if a query is running. Yeah, so it is showing 300, so which is the max salary definitely, uh, but we need to find the second highest, which is 200. So how we are going to achieve this one? <coughs> now, we write max salary as second highest salary from employee. Let's do a little bit of formatting in here now we put it where salary is less than then we'll write another uh, query in here you can see select max salary So now what this query is doing first uh, this query will, will run and it will give us the max salary now what we are doing in here find the max salary a second high salary from employee where salary is less than this so this is this is going to give us 300 this this answer 300 uh, 300 and then when we run this full query it is going to check which is just less than 300 and then it will give 200 okay so let's try to run this one let's see if we face any error or not <coughs> great so it's accepted so our query is right let's try to submit and check if it passes all the test conditions <coughs> oh great so uh, this query is fine this is working fine and it is going to solve this problem. 
now now another thing we can do in here can we do this uh, through other ways yeah definitely uh, there are few more ways through which you can solve this one i'll show it so it is we can simply tweak this query a bit now where salary is not in also we can do that means the salary which we are trying to find is not in the max salary that means the max salary which we we already got as 300 is not the salary which are asking so for an example this is giving you 300 and by running this query we are getting the max salary out of 100 and 200 other than 300 what is the max salary so that is uh, that that is this complete query is telling us so let's run this one and see <coughs> okay this is giving an error in okay so definitely i did some mistake in here let's see okay Oh, sorry <laughs> I put ease in here which is not required salary not in so sometimes I do such kind of mistakes <laughs> it's totally like English language put is and eventually I come to know this is my mistake okay so this is accepted and if I try to submit and uh, try on other test cases and let's see yeah it worked okay so these are the two uh, very easy ways to solve this one uh, this uh, problem now if, if we go ahead and check uh, to solve it by using uh, you can say window functions which i have promised you i'll show how we'll do it okay so here we need to do the window function as dance rank so what is dance rank dance rank actually ranks uh, the salary as one two three like that now it can happen that there is uh there are two id one and two one two three four number four id has 100 then it is going to rank this 200 as one if we are ranking this as an ascending order okay so if i just write this query it will be very easy for you to understand so select <clears throat> salary now just take a look on the uh, uh, index in here dance rank then over and then I'll write order by order by salary descending okay descending so that we can get the max salary number one second max salary as two like that and we are giving this as a name as r and key r and k this rank actually i can give r a and k as well but uh, i'm not giving it because rank has a uh, function called rank inside uh, in sql server so i think it it can create a problem so i'm just giving a different name in here uh, okay from from from, from uh, employee employee table okay if i just now run the code run this query what we'll see now you can see in here it is definitely wrong because we are not uh, trying to find a second highest salary we are just ranking this one you can see 300 as 1 200 as 2 100 as 3 like that now what we'll do in here <coughs> we are going to find the second highest salary which is this one okay so now we are going to write this one sub query select salary from this and you must uh, MS SQL so we need to give it alias for this query 
and we need to find the second so where we we'll give the where condition r and k equal to 2 so now let's see are we getting the expected result or not yes we are getting the expected result as 200 just we need to change this column name as per as per the expected output that is second highest salary now as salary as second highest salary let's run the code again yeah it is getting accepted but if i try for all other test cases i i doubt that it will work because it is not going to work for the null cases if there is only one just like example two if there is only one record and we are searching for rank two it is not going to find and it should give null but we haven't put any condition in here to putting it as null so we need to work it out for that so how we are going to and also we need to think about that it can it is possible that there is uh, multiple uh, salaries can be same like which i have mentioned before there is there can be uh, id 456 has the same 200 salary so for that to avoid this problem we need to give top one okay and the second thing to handle this null uh, problem we need to okay first of all i think i should show you <coughs> uh, it is giving an error so let's run this one it is accepted and if you submit it is going to give us an error i think yeah you can see wrong answer that means all the test cases are not passed okay so now we need to add something to handle the null condition in here so select so in uh, ms sql we can use is null <coughs> and what is null will do is null is going to check this condition and if doesn't uh, applicable or this condition doesn't uh, satisfy then it is going to give us what we want <coughs> okay so if it is doesn't satisfy we want null and we are going to copy this instead of doing this we can directly cut it from here because we have to handle the final result so and this one so this is the null syntax the null is null syntax is the condition and if the condition doesn't satisfy what do you want in that case okay so we want null so now run the code let's see if it works or not okay it is not working so they are saying incorrect syntax near the keyword select so definitely I did some mistake in here okay okay I got it I think there's a problem with bracket in here which I have missed yeah I believe so Okay, so there's one bracket, still one. Okay, let's try now. Yeah, it accepted now. And if I submit, let's wait for a moment and it's successful. Now, uh, uh, you can ask me a question that uh, why we'll prefer and which case we'll prefer the first query which we've wrote uh, or in which cases we'll prefer the second one so i would uh, prefer the second one because uh, because there is a mention of rank because they can ask you for different ranks like rank third fourth or hundred salary hundred high salary so in this case the first query which i have written will not be uh, sufficient to finding out the result but with this one you can use this for rank 50 or 60 or anything like that so i think this is more this query is more versatile 
so so just try to practice this one and uh, <clears throat> let me know if you have any doubts on this one comment and share your views so bye for now and happy coding